Hi, hello. Yes, hello. Don't know why I'm starting this YouTube video right here. I have tried this intro so many times. It's gonna get dark and I don't know how to start this. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm getting ready to go snow blow. This has nothing to do with the video. Oh gosh, hold on. Sweet. These are the batteries from a snow blower. Oh. Okay, I'm just figuring since I kind of want to document my journey, I should better start or I should start somewhere. Um, so I'm going out to snowblow this week. So it is a Tuesday on Friday is my last day at my job. I gave them my notice in December. So it's been a bit, um, but so on Sunday, I'm going to take some pictures of some sweatshirts I've been making along with some other products I've been working on. And oh, those stairs are steep. I'm gonna do that. And this is kind of the start of a few projects in the works that um, are gonna take me a long time, but I'm gonna try to document them. I'm gonna try to get better at documenting. I'm really, really bad at it. Um, but right now I'm gonna go get my boots on, put these in the snowblower, got batteries. There's the cat. Hey, what's up, man? And then we're gonna go do some snowblow. Whew, let's go. Done. Now I gotta go to the sidewalks. Whew. Sidewalks are hard. Come on, let's get out for me. Let's do this. So, just to give you an idea of how cold it is, my phone ran out of battery. We're a great team. <laughs> oh. So, this baby looks nice and snowy, we'll say. Oh, some great snow to snowball. Let's clean this baby after. Oh, she's such a beaut. I feel like when I was snowballing down this way, yeah. I felt like they were staring at me. Oh, yeah. Out the window, because I looked in their window <laughs> and I saw movement. And I was, our neighbors told us that uh, they watched us <laughs> in their window. So now, whenever I'm out here, I feel like they're watching me. <laughs> Peace so. of mind. What? Peace of mind. Oh no. I don't say they're watching me as in like they're watching over me. I say they're watching me like they're just watching every movie. <laughs> Alright, I think that's efficient. Okay, okay. It's a snow blower. It should be ready for snow. Ah shoot. Okay. I stuck. Okay, I'm gonna get this fixed. Got the snow blower stuck in the garage. Wanna go talk? I'll show you my sweatshirts. Be fun. I'm gonna get warmed up. We might go to Target, but I've been making a lot of sweatshirts and I'll uh, kind of detail that. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> I'm gonna go do something, be back. <laughs> okay, so I had a little bit of popcorn, watched a little bit of TV, had a kombucha. So I'm just gonna 
chat about my process of making one of my embroidery designs on a sweatshirt. And I'll kind of just, I guess, go over like my embroidery machine and my process and yada, yada, yada. Oh, what Sally? <laughs> right now, I'm working on just a simple gray sweatshirt. So these are sweatshirts that I um, thrifted. So um, it's taken me about two months and I've collected about 20 sweatshirts. This is um, a Target brand. So it's just a new day by Target. Target has some really good ones. And here's another one. Hi, Nan. Nancy. Oh. Hey, what you up to? And she's off. Okay. Anyway, back to sweatshirts. So my process. I got, I usually find the sweatshirt and then I pick the design out according to the color of the sweatshirt. So every single one has a little bit of a different personality. So I kind of want to pick out a certain one. So cool. I have my sweatshirt. Gray I found is a really hard color for me to embroider just because it, it doesn't have a, oh my goodness. What the heck? So naughty. I'll give you a little tour of what my setup looks like. So this is kind of where I do some of my like um, chalking. We got our spools. We got the embroidery machine. Um, and then underneath this table is kind of where I hide all the supplies. This is super temporary. It's literally just like a six foot table in the middle of our living room. <laughs> Okay, so what I normally do is I make sure that the sweatshirt is flat. Then I just line these babies up. This is kind of where we're seeing our center. So I have this chalk. So I just take a little piece of this chalk. Then I mark the chalk. Oh, this is up a little higher than I normally go. So center is marked. Okay, I'm super unsure. So I'm going to try it on quick. I'll only take a sec. Okay, I tried it on. I actually think that the first one I drew with the t-shirt thing is the straight one. Um, so we're gonna roll with that. Um, I'm gonna show you how I pick out the design and the yada, yada, yada. Okay, so to the point where I get to pick out a design. This is probably the lengthiest part of the whole shebang. So I have a bunch saved in my favorites. Ooh, fruits. So I usually go over to embroidery and then I just kind of go through a lot of the designs. And then, like I said, this is a gray sweatshirt. So what would look cute on the gray sweatshirt? Ooh, uh, white flowers. I will say, I think some like white, white florals might look pretty cute. Um, I did do this daisies pattern on one of the sweatshirts and it is the cutest thing in the world. Also, what might look kind of good is just black. Hmm, something just like simple. I've wanted to do one of these wildflower, just like line drawings, um, but I just haven't had the right. Oh, uh, this potted one. Mm, that might be it. That's so cute. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I think that one is in the running. The collection I have um, upstairs, which I will eventually go over, is um, just kind of floral and light and like grandma-like, cause that's just who I am. But then I'm exposed to spaceships and stuff and I realize I could be that too. Aw, I don't know who read this book, The Checkered Elephant. I don't know who read it as a kid, but I did. I think his name was Elmer. There is a mushroom, this mushroom and birds one, I've been really wanting to use. Let's look at, this looks like, oh, it's so cute. I think I kind of like the colors as well. I think this is a simple gray sweatshirt. People are loving mushrooms. I don't know, this might be the one. This is what I do though. I find the one and then I keep moving on. <gasps> what about this deer? I have a five and a half by 4.6. That one's cute though. I think we're going for the deer. We're doing it. This one just speaks to me. And I could pick any custom color that I wanted. I do love the screen that they're using though. I don't have that vibe yet. Hmm, okay. We're going with the deer. We're going with the deer. Okay. 
dear, dear, dear. So then what I do is I download it and I have to find my flash drive. I have a little special cord that I use. All right, let's go find it. Okay, I found my handy dandy little cord. I use an iPad for all this shebang. So I have to use this little converter. Yes, I did wrap it in cording because my cat likes to chew all this stuff. So now I have my flash drive and I loaded it in. It does have to be like a certain embroidery file. So we're gonna put that in and then we will figure this out. Oh, okay, and then we'll hit this. Okay. We'll just do this, we'll say set. And I think I could like rotate it if I want. Nope, I can't. So this one can only be vertical. So we're gonna say edit end, but um, I'm actually gonna get this set up. So intrigued. Who's gonna tell him that he can't sit here anymore? did that pretty soon. You can see here that it is centered. Okay, so have it in the machine. So we're gonna start with this color. I didn't realize like how late it was. I'm just gonna get a little bit ready for bed. Just don't mind this. Um, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna brush my teeth. threads she's pretty cute I think it's cute I think I have to get this like chalk away but um while I'm here I have these are just the sweatshirts that I've done um, in the past day um, a sweater that I embroidered so this is a sweater from H&M it's a small actually more fits like a medium I think but I just embroidered little daisies around the neck 
so so cute but how cute is that this took me a long time this is not easy it looks easy it's not easy and then this one i did last night the brand is a new day and um it's kind of a boxy black sweatshirt and i love it this is this one so a little boxier this is a size medium sleeves are a little like longer and boxier than than normal but it, it fits kind of short but the design is beautiful it turned out super cute i'm really loving the hands and flowers i have a few that i've done with like peace signs um i just love the the floral and then i love just the stitched look of the hand it makes me really happy all right i'll be back tomorrow <gasps> peace out y'all have a good night or day or morning or whatever it is have a good one Okay, hello, I'm back. It has been like, well, it is Sunday and I filmed last on Tuesday. It's been a whirlwind of a week. I'll get into it in a little bit. But right now, never thought I'd get out of this <laughs> messy house. Can't wait. Just packing up my stuff, getting ready to go. Oh, gotta lock the door. Oh, I can't forget my jacket. I'm just loading up my car, ready for this trip. Feels like a good chapter. <laughs> about 20 minutes just trying to get out of the stop and go traffic. I am heading to Sioux Falls, South Dakota for a little solo trip in an adorable Airbnb. Uh, mainly the reason that I'm going to Sioux Falls is because of this cute Airbnb. I wanted a place that would be good to like focus my creative spirits in and this place in the pictures is gorgeous. Put this down. I booked it just as like a, oh my gosh, I'm done with my job and like, what am I doing now kind of trip and like just a trip to kind of get everything back on track and kind of get my thoughts cleared. I'm only staying for three days, but I'm pretty excited to do that and get the ball rolling on some projects I've been working on. That's basically why I'm going to Sioux Falls. I'm excited. And here's that traffic that I was talking about. Oh, geez. Okay, you guys, I finally made it. It is so cute. Give you a little, aww. This bedroom is so cute. Aww, I can't wait. I got my bag full of, oh, <laughs> bag full of sweatshirts. And then I got all my sewing stuff. And so we're gonna get to town, maybe even tonight. Who knows? I brought my steamer. I am ready. Okay, well, I will see you next time. Um, I'll show you all my fun sweaters, but for tonight, that's it. I'll see you guys in... Ooh, there's a noise. <laughs> see you in a day or so.